Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to delete image from our Firebase storage inside Flutter web. And also we're going to delete that image from our Fire stores. Okay, so our application is running, which is the Flutter e-commerce admin panel. And over here, we are inside the media section. I already created the dashboard. Now let's click on the banners. And you can see we have a bunch of images over here. And also in the previous tutorial, we created inside the brand, we added this image. So now let's try to click on this. And you can see the pop-up and I'm going to hit this delete button that we added in the previous tutorial. So delete it. You can see the confirmation box. And if I'm going to click on cancel, it is going to remove and the back pop-up box is intact. But when I'm going to click on this delete again, on this remove button, we are going to hide this or remove this background pop-up first. So after that, we are going to, you see we removed both pop-ups and added a loader after that. A nice message that your image is deleted and also the image is removed from this list. So this is what we are going to learn today. We are creating Flutter e-commerce hidden panel app and inside this course we have already created six sections previously which contains configuration, which contains configuration, routing, navigation, then responsive screens, then admin management, tables, dashboard and now we are about to complete our media section and in the next tutorial of this media section we are going to create the bottom sheet uh, which we are going to use in all our screens in the products wherever the image is required throughout in our admin panel we are going to use that bottom sheet to pop up all the images that we have already added in the media section and we will also make the images as single selectable multiple selectable so the next tutorial is going to be very important okay so first of all open your project and we are inside our e-commerce admin panel app and inside this go to the features media and open the media controller we have already created functions to fetch images to store data inside our firebase storage and also firebase firestore whereas today we are going to go to the data in the repositories go to the media repository and inside over here because if you are following the series you already know that we are going to create all the functions related to database inside our repositories class you can use a single class as well but that's your choice and in here i'm going to create a function now the function is delete file from storage it is a future type because it is going to call the cloud query and for the cloud query we have to use the await sign and with await sign we have to use the async so that it can perform the asynchronous operations down below we have the default exception handling in the try catch and inside this function we are going to receive the image that we want to delete in here we have two ways to delete the image so first of all let me show you with the URL way but it has a drawback so to delete or call the instance of firebase storage we have to call firebase storage dot instance dot we have to call the reference and you can see we have two type of reference the first one is with a string path and the second one is reference from url so as we are displaying the image with a url and if you want to go with this one and we have a url here image dot url and then we can call delete function and if you see the image model in here we are storing the url we have the folder size bytes media file name full path again this is important thing and down below while converting things to json to store data inside firebase firestore database we are storing the url the folder name of the firebase storage then we are storing the bytes file name again you can compare this folder name and file name if you want then we have a full path where this image is stored inside our firebase storage created at content type media category so all the related or specific details we have that we stored inside our firestore and if you open your firebase console inside the firestore open the images collection and inside we uploaded recently few images and in here you can see we have the content type and where is the full path here you can see we have banners and then in the banners this is the name of the file and also separately we have a folder over here which is banners we just have to remove the first starting forward slash and then you have the file name which is over here so you can combine these both we also stored previously the full path as well 
And if you open the storage, go to the banners and you can see we have banner over here and in the banners previously we uploaded a lot of files using e-commerce app via the dummy files but we also have our own latest files over here that we uploaded using admin panel so we need to call either the complete url to get the image and also we need to get the banner or the image name to actually delete this image so if i'm going to click on this image which we recently uploaded and in here if you see the file location to download the url we have to use this access token right so if you are going to delete the image using a url so this is the url that we stored with the access token so if you see this url we have at the bottom you can see at the last line we have alt media and token is equal to this is the token that we need to get the image if you're talking about viewing the image this is going to allow you to view image from here but if you are going to delete that let's say after one day of uploading or maybe after a few days and in the firebase storage firebase has changed this access token for the security reasons because this access token oftenly get changed with that old access token we will be still able to access our image and view the image but we will not be able to delete that image so to overcome that issue we have to actually need the complete path in order to delete that image so inside the media repository we are not going to use this approach because in this case might be access token is uh, now not valid so in that case you will not be able to read that image and you will get some exception so instead of that we can use the simple reference and instead of passing the url we can pass the full path that we also stored and by this way we will be able to extract that image and delete that image from the firebase storage and the next thing once it is deleted from the firebase storage now we have to delete it from the firebase firestore and for that we have to call firebase firestore instance dot instance and we have to call the collection from where we stored all the images name of the collection should exactly be same as we have over here in the images so it's the images collection and we have to now call the document we also have the document id stored inside images dot id and it also has a function of delete and by this way make sure to add await signs otherwise it is not going to work and by this way we are going to able to delete image from first from the firebase storage and then from the firebase firestore and if you want to see again this image model this is the image id and while storing the image definitely we do not have any id because once the image is stored in the firestore or the document is created only after that we will be able to get the document id and while receiving the data from the firestore we get the document using this document id and by this way we have the id of the document that we want to delete inside this id variable okay now we are done with this media repository I'm head to the media controller and in here at the very bottom we are going to create a function which will be the confirmation function we are going to trigger this to display a pop-up message okay in here you can see we have the pop-up and inside this pop-up we have the delete image function so whenever this function will be triggered the first thing we want to display is the removal confirmation box this means that we're not going to directly delete the image but rather we are going to display this pop-up so for that i have created this t dialogs dot default dialog in this uh, we are going to get the selected image and we have to pass the context content is i show you want to read this image and then in the on confirm we are going to handle this but first if you want to see this t dialogs or default dialog it has some default variables and then we have two functions on confirm on cancel and it is using the show dialog it is a function inside this t dialogs class and it is a static type of function so that we can directly call t dialogs dot default dialog just to reuse it again and again I have created this function in the curly brackets we have all these variables that we want to use some have the default values some don't and this is the design that we are using you can change this design and create your own design for the pop-up now inside this on confirm on cancel on cancel will automatically be handled and it is going to not do anything which is a cancel button but when this remove button will be triggered first of all we want to get rid with this pop-up and then also want to remove this pop-up and display a loader so just going with the sequence first of all i'm going to remove the already displayed image pop-up using get dot back and then i'm going to create a function which is going to actually delete the image and we Going to pass the image in it remove cloud image and create a method it is going to receive that image over here and inside this function i have created a try catch because it is going to call the cloud query inside the media repository and first of all you can see i again call the get.pack to 
close this second pop-up and after that we are going to first create a dialog message which is going to start adding a loader and once that loader is completed we are going to use this t full screen loader to stop loading and if you want to see this method it has a navigator dot of context we are using the getx context and dot pop this is actually going to close the pop-up you can use get dot back but in sometimes get dot back is not recommended so that's why we are using the proper way to close a pop-up and then at the end we are going to display a success message using t loaders success snack bar which is created using get dot snack bar and this is the function of it using a static function success snack bar is called we'll pass the title and message that image is now deleted if we have the exception we are going to again stop loading and we will display the error snack bar now first of all we will start the spinner import this t circular loader class and i'm going to display it using get dot default dialog with the title yeah, there is no title because we are, i only want to display a loader inside this default dialog and barrier dismissible is false it cannot be you know by clicking on the sides of the banner it will not be closed then transparent background content is pop scope means you can also cannot click the back button to close it then in the child we have width and height of 150 then in the child i'm using t circular loader it contains a container box decoration is circular then in the center we have a circular progress indicator with this foreground and background color background is transparent with the foreground color we have the white color okay once the loader will be started now we want to call the delete function and again we have to use the await sign because it is going to be a cloud query and for that i have to create this as an async function await use the media repository dot delete file from storage and pass the image and that's it once this image will be deleted if in case the image is not deleted we will get the exception and that exception is already being handled so we do not need to get or receive anything over here now once the everything is deleted if i'm going to cancel this from here you can see that when i'm going to delete this i also want to delete this image from this list right so i have to also update this list so that this image can be deleted so for that first of all we need to identify that which folder is selected and which folder is displaying the images so we we can update that list so for that create an empty list which will be the reference of any of these lists it is again have to be the rx list means it is observable because all these lists are observable so to store the reference of these lists into this one it should have to be the same type of image model so once we know that which folder is selected or which type of image we want to delete now we can remove that image from the list using target list because this one has now the instance inside this target list so calling target list dot remove and pass the image will remove that list and we just have to call update function of the getx to update the list in the ui and then at the end stop loading display the success message and that's it now this controller is handling all the possible operations also deleting this by calling the media repository we just have to call this function and pass the image model from the ui and if you remember let's go to features media screens and in the widgets we have created this new image details pop up in the previous tutorial and over here at the bottom you can see we have the delete image text button and inside it's on press which is over here we are going to call our controller and we can call the controller directly because it has already its instance is created using get dot put so now we do not have to call the get dot put again so media controller dot instance for remove cloud image confirmation and in that we are going to pass the image the same way that we receive inside this pop-up and the instance dot instance is simply a getter function which is going to call get dot find to find the already created instance of this media controller and if there there is no instance it is not going to work and it will throw an exception so make sure that you have already created instance in some earlier widgets as in our case we have already created that instance inside our image uploader section which is the first section okay now let's run this application okay so our application is running let's click on media let's click on the banners where we have added few images in the previous tutorials and let's say we want to delete this image and now we have the delete button over here so let's click on it we have the pop-up that we wanted click on cancel is going to remove this but not this one so now delete this image again click on remove we have the loader both pop-ups are gone so let's wait and you can see image successfully deleted from the cloud storage 
and we cannot see the image from the list as well this means the list is now updated without calling any cloud query we have successfully refreshed the list and save extra reads okay so that's it for today's tutorial in the next tutorial what we are going to learn is very important in which we are going to create the reusable pop-up bottom sheet to select and unselect the images which is going to be a bit tricky so make sure to stay tuned and watch the upcoming videos also if you're new you can watch the previous videos the link is in the description and you can get the complete course or the playlist link from the description below or from the right top corner if you have any questions you can ask me down below in the comments and also you can download the complete code link is in the description thank you for watching and take care